the restless tides, flowing in and out four tides a day. A firm thinks it's time to harness all that energy. This is Swansea Bay, Wales. The tidal range here is enormous. The firm plans to build a sea wall over five miles long to enclose a vast body of water into a lagoon here in Swansea Bay. Large power generating turbines will be set in the sea wall. Here's how it works. On the left here is the open sea, its height increasing from low tide to high tide. The sea wall holds the rising tide out of the lagoon on the right. Then a wicket gate is opened to let the high tide flow in. That makes electricity. When the lagoon fills up, the tide goes out and the whole process is reversed to make energy once more. We're about a mile and a half out to sea now and it's right down beneath me that the turbines will go. And you can see the vast amount of water that will be held back by that wall. The notion of tidal lagoons is let's use that free power. It's created by the dance between the moon and the planet and let's generate electricity for the next 120 years. Very certainly, a little bit expensive to start off with, very cheap for a very long time. Environment groups say the lagoon shouldn't disturb wildlife too much. They say it'll make much needed clean energy. There's one great thing about tidal power. Unlike energy from the sun or the wind, it is utterly predictable. So from here at high tide to way down here at low tide, engineers can calculate exactly how much water has been moved and exactly how much energy that will generate. And the power firms really value that certainty. But one group is concerned, the anglers. What about the impact of the lagoon on local rivers? We're very worried about tidal lagoons because they have the potential to chop up lots of fish and the positioning of lots of lagoons near the mouth of rivers is very alarming for us. There's another drawback, the lagoon will have to be subsidised by bill payers and it is looking very expensive. The developers claim a second lagoon they want to make at Cardiff will provide energy for about the same cost as nuclear and much more safely. Ministers are committed to getting almost all our electricity from low carbon sources. They hope a fleet of lagoons round the coasts of Britain will prove affordable as well as reliable. Roger Harabin, BBC News, Swansea.